what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we are cracking down on reviews lately i just finally i got the uh the villains in which i'm really happy about so we're gonna crack these things open get them reviewed i'm actually i've been really pleased with this uh with this toy line so far i didn't think i was gonna like it this much but as you can see i've been getting them all as i can find them i just found the four pack in disguise which is awesome got the just did the review for the the van the van is awesome i love that it shoots pizzas i think that's so awesome i'm just saying awesome left and right man i don't know there's just so much turtle stuff coming out lately it's it's hard to keep up but we're gonna review away so uh let's flip this thing around let's crack these things open let's take a look at these villains because i've been uh, i've been dying to get my hands on these I'm, I'm more excited for the villains than i was for the turtles and i love the turtles so i'm uh, hoping the the villains are just as good so uh yeah let's flip you guys around all right so here's our mutant mayhem wave one villains we got this is all four of them you get leatherhead bebop rocksteady and superfly um before we tear into them though we're like like normal we're going to take a look at the packaging um like i said in the turtle one i love the packaging i love the colors of it bright almost gives you like that 90s color feel i don't know they, i i love them i love the i love the way everything is i love the art style i'm really p praying that the movie is is good because i really do like the art style i think the turtles are pretty damn good i think they're really close to the original they changed them but kept them close enough which i think is perfect um i think that's the main reason i really just cannot get behind the michael bay turtles because they just they're just not turtles to me. I just, I don't know. I'm sorry if you disagree, but that's my feel. I've heard people say they don't like these turtles, and I I don't understand it because, I mean, they are really similar to our original turtles. Um, but who knows? Uh, everybody's got their own opinion. That's fine. But I'm really hoping the movie's good. Um even if the movie turns out to not be good, I don't think it'll affect my view on the toys or the turtles and the characters because I, I do like them. But uh, let's check out the packaging again in case you didn't see it from the first review. You get the nice purple bricks. I love how there's like little drawings and stuff on there. Reminds me of like kids in you know grade school drawing stuff all over their notebooks and everything, little sketches. You got the turtles down the side. I think they look awesome. You get your character. This one is Leatherhead, obviously. Raging Cajun Gator. I love how they gave you the weapons rack, like the original Playmates Turtle toys. I think I like. I I really love how they uh, they played off the original toys. Um, they box sets, everything. Even the van looks similar to the you know it's got the same paint scheme looks similar to the original playmates you know, the playmates uh play set the turtle play set that we're not going to get till fall unfortunately is a lot like the original one but uh here we go we got you got the turtles on the back all eight characters except for april um you get your they put their uh in the character card on the back which is cool I wish they would start doing that with more action figures. A little info up there. Here's everything that's out. We already did the turtles. I don't have Splinter yet. But then you got Leatherhead, Superfly, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Uh, gives you some information to find them on YouTube, webisodes, and more. And there you go. So, uh... I guess the next step is to crack these things open and uh oh and knock everything over that's typical don't mind me so uh let's crack these things open and uh really take a look at them All 
right, that was fun. So first up, we're gonna start with Leatherhead. Here's his weapon rack. Pretty cool. Get another gun. Get some kind of sword baton looking thing. You get a bear trap, that's pretty cool. And you get a, looks like a bowie knife. Then you get his actual weapon. A sawed off shotgun, fits in the back of his, uh, I guess a little gun holder. And uh, here is Leatherhead. I actually really like this Leatherhead, really cool. He's dressed up like a hunter. He's got like one of them swamp hats on. I love it, he, he reminds me of like one of them southern gator hunters i think it's cool they did a good job on them um surprisingly he's actually got a lot of articulation which i think is awesome the only thing that i think would have uh, made me like him a little more is an articulated jaw if you could open this up it would give it, bring him to life a lot more looks like he's got some like night uh, night vision goggles on which is pretty cool there's that hat I was talking about Let's just give you a good good look at him first yeah he's awesome I, I'm really like him they did a good job on these this line of figures um, like I was saying they got pretty good a lot of articulation actually you can get a complete you can get his arms completely out like that single jointed elbows Really, uh, more than a lot for a $10 action figure, in my opinion. You got, uh, hip articulation, ball joint, and you got single jointed knees, and then you have a ankle swivel, which is awesome. Now the tail rotates all the way around, and then it's also on a hinge. You don't get a lot of play, but you get enough and what's nice about the tail is it helps him stand up very well. Like he is not gonna fall over. There's no chance in hell. There's, he's not going nowhere. But he is definitely one of my favorites out of the uh, the line, these four. Not my favorite, but he's one of my favorites. Probably my he's probably number two on my list. And we'll uh, check out Rocksteady. Rocksteady, I don't know how I feel about Rocksteady. First off, he comes with the missing arm, or you gotta put the arm on. They, they, they shipped it that way so he could fit in the package better. Just pops right in. Oh. Okay, doesn't just pop right in, but there we go. Um, okay, yeah, sorry, there we go. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about Rocksteady. Uh, he's probably my least favorite out of them, but to be honest, he looks like a rhino to me. I mean, if I if I pictured a rhino standing up on two legs, it's kind of how I would picture him. No, no neck, just a big. A, I don't know, a big massive rhino. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So I mean, I get it. He just there's I don't know. Just looks really, I don't know, I guess it fits him. Honestly, it fits him. Rocksteady fits him. Um, probably the least detailed out of all of them. I feel like they could have done better on him, to be honest. I'm not hating on him. I do like him. I, I mean, he just, out of, out of the four, he's definitely the least detailed, and I feel like they could have done more with him. Comes with his gun. Some kind of some kind of blaster gun. This is his weapon rack. I actually prefer the, I might stick him with the uh, big hammer. I think that looks cooler. You get another gun, you get his uh, sewer shield, which is awesome. Throwback to the original and you got his hunting knife or bowie knife. That's really cool. Articulation on him is a little less than uh, you don't quite get a full T-pose. They 
get a hinge and it rotates get single jointed elbows and you don't get much but he's a big beefy figure his head kind of just swivels back and forth like this so you can look left or right that is it there's no no up or down uh, no waist articulation his hips are on a hinge so you can do a kick that's about it and then single jointed single jointed knees so you can make him look like he's running that's that's at least pretty kind of cool I don't know how you're gonna get him to stand up like that but pretty cool I'm not not hating on him I just feel like they maybe could have done a little more with him but like I said for ten dollar figures these are amazing I uh I do say that all right my favorite out of them is Superfly um, I'm really liking him he's uh pretty wild looking he's got this big old arm all right so you get these wings you got to put the one wing on there how I'm gonna do oh, okay so it just just snaps right in there there's just a little slot you just press it in and they do that so they can fit them in the smaller packaging then you flip them around and it's just gonna fit in there I'm guessing nope, not like that oh wait no it's gotta be it's gotta be like that so there you go fits in there just like that there we go and then he comes with his blaster very cool here's his weapon rack so of course you get a fly swatter looks like you get some ammo and some other kind of blaster and that looks like it's some kind of uh, chemistry beaker with some chemicals coming out of it but yeah he's uh definitely my favorite out of this uh this four pack or these four i wish there was a little more articulation on this big arm it looks kind of funky like but uh i love it i love it. He, he looks like a mutated fly like exactly how he's supposed to you got these little little arms right here oh sorry i was off screen there's his face torn up clothes got some shorts look at the shoe is still his his foot went straight through the shoe i did i think they just did an awesome job showing like the mutation like this looks like he was mutated broke through his clothes broke through his shoe and everything whatever however it went it went i think he's awesome there's the back I still cannot believe these are only $10 figures. I think they're amazing for a $10 price point. Articulation on this guy, you can get the T-pose. He's got single jointed elbows. You can rotate these. This is the only articulation on here is his wrist articulation and his shoulder. I wish they would have put an elbow in here, but uh, it is what it is. Again, the hips, there is no waist swivel. The hips, you get a you're on a ball socket with a hinge so all the way around up and down you got then you have single jointed knees rotation i love that shoe that's awesome like just leave it on there um he's a little tricky to stand but once you get him standing he stands pretty good and then on to Bebop. So here we go, Bebop. Let's start with his weapon, uh, weapon rack. Looks like you get a uh, TMNT version of Lucille. You get another uh, little drill gun, a big Bowie knife, and also a some looks like a shield, like a uh, garbage can shield. Pretty cool. Here's his large gun. Looks like a AR with a uh, big drill on the front of it. Now let's take a look at Bebop. I like this Bebop, I think he's cool. Big old fat warthog. 
Again, I wish they had some mouth articulation, but these are $10 Playmate figures, so that is that is asking a little much. Got the nose ring. I love how he's got the tattoo. Looks a lot like the original one. Yeah, he's got a big old chunky dookie booty. Makes sense, right? Can't have a warthog without a big old chunky dookie booty. Um... There you go, got same articulation as the rest of them. I feel like you can do a little more with him, which is pretty cool. Sit him down, stand him up, get him running. I love the big old fat belly, I think that's hilarious. It looks, I don't know if he's supposed to have like ink on his fingers. I'm guessing he, they own, they're, I'm guessing they run like they must have something to do with like a tattoo shop or something because that's what it looks like i don't know i don't know if those are supposed to just be his claws or hooves or whatever or if those are supposed to be inky hands i don't know i guess we'll find out once we see the movie um you get a little restriction on the shoulders because of his shoulder pads but got a lot of you get a lot of movement Pretty good articulation for a big, uh, beefy guy. I love the purple shades. I think it's awesome. It's really hard to pick a favorite, honestly, out of these villains. They're all really cool. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys, what's your favorite? I'd love to hear in the comments which ones you like the most. I hope you guys are liking these reviews. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do them smooth and straight to the point. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope it's, I want to know what you guys think of them think of everything so far do you guys like the, the art style do you like the the turtles do you like the characters i cannot wait to get some of the more more of the other villains i just there was some images of uh some new characters they reveal i cannot wait oh man they look awesome um and it looks like they're doing everybody so there's gonna once you get that play set and all the stuff you're gonna have a nice huge display i think it's gonna look great um, my, next up on the chopping block for reviews is the Mutant Mayhem Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. Cannot wait to do that one. I'm happy I finally picked that up. Finally found it. Again, I did the turtle van already in the turtles, so if you want to see that, make sure you go check out those videos. I got the giant turtles. I'll probably do a quick little video of those comparing them to the uh, comparing them to the original giant turtles but we'll see um let me know what you guys think about the uh villains and uh i hope you like the review make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet check out the uh mirage turtle four pack giveaway i'm doing get get signed up for that go walk away with the turtle the four pack of the mirage turtles that's my favorite NECA turtle four pack of all time greatest thing that came out this year so far probably going to be the best thing that comes out this year period for me so uh if you don't have that yet make sure you sign up for that uh goes till august 10th don't miss out and i will uh catch you guys next time later guys mm -hmm.